Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about support reactions. Here we have a hinge which has two reactions. We have a pin here which has two reactions, a roller which has one reaction, and a fixed end which could be a wall or a ceiling which has three reactions. Okay, so first of all is the hinge. A hinge is a support that's able to connect two members. So suppose I've got these two keys here, and then I take this pen and I stick it through. So this pen will act as a, a hinge, okay? So suppose this is our hinge. If I, if I pull it to the left and right, like this, the, the, the key stays still. That's because the <clears throat> the hinge will develop a force to counter the force that I, I apply, like this. Okay. It's the same if I pull it up or down. If I push it up or down, the hinge is going to develop a force to react to the force that I apply to it, like this. However, if I ap apply force here which makes the keys rotate. Since the key is rotating, this tells us that a hinge is not able to support a, a moment. Therefore, a hinge has two reactions, one that's horizontal and one that's vertical, and is unable to support moments. So next is the pin. A pin is the same as a hinge. The only difference is a pin is only kind of connected to one member, like like this. If I apply this force, the pin will develop this force to react to this force. If I apply this force, the pin will develop this force to react to this force. If I apply this force here, which makes this moment, the beam is going to rotate, like this. Which tells us that this pin is una unable to support a moment. Therefore, a pin can support two reactions. One that's horizontal, and one that's vertical. No moments. Okay? Next we have a roller. Think of a roller as a wheel or a sphere. Okay. Suppose I've got this egg. Pretend that it's a sphere. Suppose this egg is this sphere here. Okay. If I if I press down on it like this, the egg or the, the roller is going to develop this force so that it's, it's staying still. However, if I press it like this, it'll move, right? If I press it like this, then there isn't a force to counter it, okay? Therefore, a roller has one reaction, which is vertical, okay? And finally, we have a fixed end. Suppose we have this wall here, and on it, and on it is this beam. If I apply a force like this, the wall is going to develop this force to react to this force. If I apply this force, then the wall is going to develop this force to react to this force. If I apply this force, which makes this moment, then the wall is going to develop this moment to counter this moment. Okay? So if this happens, then the wall is in static equilibrium. Therefore, a fixed end can support three reactions. One that's horizontal, vertical, and a moment. Okay? So thank, thank you for watching.